the title of the show, um, Hypothesis, is an echo that I gave to the, to the show that I did this summer in New York called Hypnosis. And this exhibition in Milan being, in a way, the following up you know, of, the, of the first attempt to bring all these mar those marquees together and uh, produce a sort of a dramaturgy with them. So I never will repeat twice the same act, but uh, I was interested by pushing a bit uh, and learning from what I did in New York in order to uh, produce an hypothesis of what this exhibition might be about. So um, hypothesis is a is uh, this idea that a collection of art objects together can become more than a, a recollection of objects, but can produce a sort of a, um, of a dramaturgy by itself, you know? So the act of uh, exhibition is also an act of production of forms. time that I bring all these marquees together. I did it f the first time in Paris for the show called Anywhere, Anywhere Out of the World. But they came together as a, an ensemble, so to speak, as an instrument. But I didn't really have time to do much with them, so I believe I did like something like three minutes of sort of a musical anagram, I can say composition really. And, uh, and then for the show in New York, we did work in a studio, in my studio, with keyboard and virtual marquees and trying to produce something else with it. What happened in New York is that the marquees were in display, so I just had some, disc, some, some, um, some uh, keyboards. And at night, we invited a couple of musicians to come and play them. So it became in New York then a sort of a proper instrument. From, with that kind of a background of uh, an exhibition space being also a production space, you know. So I was working with both musicians, and a couple of them came from New York. And, uh, and then we tried to push it a bit further to say, what if the Marquis also can um, affect, in a way, the film that um, will be screened in, in Milan? So we asked uh, to some musicians to start to rearrange a bit the soundtrack of the film. Uh, changing also the works that are on display, you know. So it becomes. Uh, I also change most of the editing of all the films presented here, present, presented here. So 
You know, again, each time an, a show, uh, an object is shown, is slightly transformed, whether because you thought about it or you remember it differently, or because actually it did change. You know? I was bothered, but strangely enough, I did not belong to anybody. I belong to a member who is able to fill me with any kind of imaginary material anywhere out of the world. I am an imaginary character. I am no ghost, just a shell. I will call that uh, form of display more uh, on the side of the dramaturgy rather than the choreography, you know. Although the show starts with an uh, element of a choreographic work, you know, of uh, Merce Cunningham, but uh, I'm more inclined to think about uh, dramaturgy, some kind of like legacy from the 18th century. But interesting to uh, move on that direction. You know, it's still an exhibition, so I'm not trying to do something else. <laughs> So yes, you can spend two hours and a half or three, or if you're mad, you can spend six, six hours. But you can also choose to just pass by, you know, it's fine with me. It's non-authoritarian. So unlike any uh, form of entertainment, like you find in cinema, where people are becoming an audience, here you're a public, so you choose, you know. You're in control of your time. Nobody tells you what to do. Um, I discovered this work when I worked on, uh, with Carlos Basualdo in Philadelphia on a show called um, Dancing Around the Bride. And um, what I like about it is that it's a collaboration, you know, the, the show was all about four, four artists, Jasper Jones, Merce Cunningham, John Cage and Marcel Duchamp. And the exchange that I had at some point, the, f the fact that form doesn't belong to a signature but to a a poetic conversation that these guys had together, the bachelors, you know. And um, so uh, this piece is interesting because it's, uh, it's a, there's a set of Jasper Jones, there was a set designed by Jasper for Cunningham performance or, or, or choreographic work. But that's also a copy of Marcel Duchamp Large Glass. And, uh, and uh, so already that fact that you have a motif that is exchange, you know, and move. Uh, among different generations was interesting. The piece of Walk Around Time starts with the dancers uh, warming up and while the audience is there, you know, and there's a kind of like a vague soundtrack, but the dance is standing by itself. And, uh, and it's a movement of life, you know, that there is no... Uh, time is a moment we share and it's not scripted. So there is not such a thing of a time like a timeline, no? It's the time of the breathing, it's the time of there is no structure, so the piece can be long or short, but uh, it's not determined or predetermined by a composition. So to answer why is that because it's also the time you choose to spend looking at an artwork, it's all about that. You know. 